Hello, hello, welcome back everybody. So today we've got one of my personal favorites. We've got Mia's Zakutu Half Cannon again in uh, probably my second least favorite game mode though. So this is a symbol battle, which as you're going to see pretty quickly, what that means is that you can spawn at any of the waypoints. So capturing waypoints isn't a thing anymore. And respawn timers are cut down by to, to like seconds so essentially it's a game mode that removes any tactical element of it and just makes it a mess um they like to also have smaller rooms when they do these two so you can see this is which that part's probably actually good honestly with with larger rooms it would become even more chaotic and just an absolute mess but yeah, being able to spawn anywhere and having the respawns cut down to almost non-existent means you basically have no tactics left whatsoever and it overemphasizes any of the more rushdown focused suits. Kind of like similar issues as, um, I don't remember what it was called anymore, but the free-for-all game mode that I also really don't like. That's my first least favorite game mode. But anyway, here we kind of ended up in an a unfortunate situation, got kind of pinned down by a couple guys there. We have been dealt a sizable amount of damage. I'm trying to line up shots here. So the anti-air rifle is fun. I really like it, but it's one that I kind of have to relearn like every time I take it out because it is tricky to land those hits. The projectile velocity is not that high, and as you can see, it's got that lower rate of fire and it does really good damage if you can consistently connect, and it stuns with two hits, so it stuns reliably and does a lot of damage if you can connect. But, like, splash damage is not as large as you might think it is. Uh, projectile velocity is a little bit slower, so you really have to get good with actually landing those hits dead on. It, it can be a little tricky. You're going to see a couple of failed shots here or there. You saw one connect right there, but only one because I then got pressured by everybody else. So we're trying to pull back a, li just a little bit just that we're not up out front. Um, very happy I didn't end up getting hurt more by him. I really thought he was going to get us down, but luckily the team stepped in and did what they needed to do. Got... Oh, he got, he got two different hits on two different people. And there we go. We can see that stun on the second hit there finally. He ducks behind our base, though, so we're picking other targets just that we can actually keep dealing damage, and also because we already got a two guys on him anyway. So we're backing up allies instead. Hosed him down with some decent damage. That's the thing with the, the Gatling gun. It's great if you're hitting with type advantage. If you're not hitting with type advantage or you're hitting with disadvantage, it's just okay. But it is pretty reliable high-volume fire, if nothing else. Um, and we've got a decent heat hawk on this too, so that's always fun. I don't have any sort of like defensive skills though, so I don't have maneuver armor, I don't have dodge rolls, anything like that, which can make it really tricky to just deal with fire sometimes. This is not really a close range suit. It's a really fun mid range suit though. I've actually found my highest damage ends up coming out when I can play it in a mid-range position with allies where I can get more reliable hits with the anti-air gun, get those stuns, and then move in for single heat hawk swings, and then step back out again. Got caught on the box a little bit there, so that ruined my attempts at an advance. Since I, I got caught on the box, I was hoping to bait a tackle out on him, but... He got too far away from me before I could really do anything reliably. So we dropped back, trying to get, got, now we're finally getting some decent hits on with the anti-air rifle after not doing too much. Almost got that kill. Somebody else finished him off though, and that is what I expected him to do last time. But we got up before he could actually finish us off. I think he backed off under pressure of other guys, but. This, the Doug Schneid Ifrit, is, um, he's not a, I really enjoy mine, but they're a pain to actually deal with. They've got that shotgun that stuns, and then they can move in with that, I, I think they call it a heat lance, I believe it is. It's a halberd. 
I believe the official name is Lance, but it's a halberd. It does a lot of damage, and it knocks you over, so it's annoying. Since he's low on health there, you can see we're going to open up with the Gatling gun, but we got uh, jumped by the Doug Schneid Ifrit, which, to be fair, I should have realized was there. Um, he spawned, like, right as I did and just jumped up. I should have seen him. Somebody else finished the guy off, though, it looks like, so that's good. We're just trying not to get ripped apart by the Ifrit again. I'm trying to get some sort of angle where I can shoot at him, but I'm far enough back that his shotgun isn't going to do too much. Stunned with the rifle. We're still going to try and move back a bit, though. He's got maneuver armor, so the grenade is not the best call here because it's instant stun, but his maneuver armor is tanking that stun, so he's just you know doing what maneuver armor is meant to do, hitting me, go keep going. Baited the tackle, so now he's out of boost, and we're going to pull back and try and do something. We've got two guys in front of us, though, and he's got a machine gun, so... Didn't take too long for him to finish this off. We probably could have done some more damage against the Ifrit if it was just him, but he's also got a wrist-mounted machine gun as well. But again, as, as I was saying, the simple battle, I'm already back on the field again, so what difference does it make anyway? This was probably not the best suit to take in a simple battle since it is a little bit better on a defensive. Uh, we are not going to manage to... I, I was mistaken. We are going to manage to get that kill. And there you can see what I was saying about if you can land those hits consistently, it does good damage. I actually thought I missed that kill. I thought that was going to time out, was going to come in. But we, we, we got some damage at least. We got okay damage. The suit is definitely capable of a lot more damage. And I think some of that comes down to, in this case, not using the big gun or the leg-mounted missiles enough, because those are also really good damage if you can reliably hit with them. And that is going to be the entire issue with this suit, and also why people say it's bad, along with the regular half-cannon. It has really good weapons if you can hit with them, because it's not the Gatling gun. The, the Gatling gun is not your main source of damage. It's reliable. It's just smaller numbers, so... But that'll do it for this video, and I will see you guys again next time.